Good evening. Today I would like to talk about fluency in a language. And my point of view in regards to fluency is that people just need to calm down about fluency already. Okay, it's like uh, people are just like, oh, first, how long? How long is it going to take me to become fluent in, in whatever language? That's like a lot of people's main concern. This just reminds me as well uh, of a story that uh, about my the days of my youth. Um, I think I was three years old and my mother loves telling and retelling this story just to show people how impatient I was as a child. I started judo, okay, when I was three years old and and my mother is right. I was never a patient child. Never. Um, so, you know, I went to like three, three lessons, I think. And then I, I was just, I was already like, well, I was thinking, when, when do I get this black belt? Like I, you know, I've come three times. I, I want the black belt. <laughs> so apparently, actually, asked the sensei I went to the sensei and I asked when do I get the black belt like you know this is taking too long already and uh, and in my in my eyes in my eyes I I think that that's what a lot of people uh, are like in terms of learning languages when do I get the black belt you know when when do I get fluent in the language two months three months five months a year a decade from now first there's so many factors so many factors that are going to uh, influence how long it's going to take. Whether or not you already know um, a language similar to the one that you're learning, because that's obviously going to help. For instance, if you know Portuguese really well, learning Spanish will be will take a lot less time than learning Chinese. It has a lot of similar vocabulary. Second, how much effort you put into it. In the end, if you're using really efficient methods, um, of course, you may speed up the process. Um, and in terms of months, months and years, weeks, whatever, if you, it's also going to depend on how much, uh, how many hours you put in, like every every day or every week or whatever. If you're, a, if you can only spend fifteen minutes a day learning a language, well, it's, it might take a while to get a to get fluent in it. Uh, if you have eight hours a day to spend spending learning a language, and then hey, maybe you, you might take a, you may learn a language in a record time and become fluent. In the end, I think that the most important is for people to just enjoy the process, you know, uh, to relax a bit and really, really be more zen, really be more zen in terms of learning a language, and accept that it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take effort. It's going to take dedication. Um, but hey, the most important thing is that it can be an enjoyable process and you should make it. You should make it an enjoyable process. And that way you're going to learn faster anyway. You're going to become fluent faster if you enjoy the process than if, if you hate it. If you, if you don't like it, if you're thinking it's painful and you're like, well, I can't wait to get done with this and finally learn this language, then you're not going to be learning as quickly. That's, that's the thing.